Hey there, this is Bill Barbin here with Keller Williams Lakes and Mountains Real Estate in North Conway, New Hampshire. And today I'm out back at one of my favorite little spots here, my little corner. Every now and then you'll hear vehicle traffic off in the distance. Nothing to worry about. I just wanted to come to you with a report. Spring of 2019, moving into summer. We're June 6th right now today, 2019. And I wanted to let you guys uh, get my take on the local dining scene in Conway, New Hampshire. So just to kind of give you the lay of the land, my office is in North Conway, Intervale specifically, which is the very end, north end of the town of Conway in North Conway. North Conway is a village within the town of Conway, NH, and uh, it's the more popular, well-known destination. It's, it's a uh, census map place as far as the government's concerned, whatever that means. It's not a municipality of its own. That's the town of Conway. So as you come into the town of Conway, you go through Conway Village and uh, that's when you know you've arrived up, up the road and you see the high school, which is now the middle school on the left, just after the fields that give you the view up through the valley. It's really the gateway to the Mount Washington Valley. That having been said, it's kind of uh, a different venue than North Conway. A lot of people like to get up into the north end of town. Uh, to their hotel rooms, whatever they're doing, and they picture North Conway Village as the place, and maybe the commercial strip between here and there, that's the other place. However, folks that have property or that vacation in Conway and the town of Madison, just southeast of us, you, you cut through Madison real quick on Route 16, but a few people know Madison. There's the Idlewise Village District, which is a beautiful set of vacation homes around a few ponds right in there that uh, it's really a vacation bedroom community of North Conway right there in Madison. But folks down Albany, Northern Tamworth and Madison uh, all know that the Conway end of town has a few dining options from your pizza to even fancy dining. So. Let me kind of take you through my list and, and I'll work from, f I won't call it favorites down, it's just the favorite for us, my wife and I and our son, is Cafe Noche. And I'll throw out a few addresses. Cafe Noche um, at 147 Main Street in Conway Village is just after the post office and the Cumberland Farms on the right. Cafe Noche is a, uh, it's a theme mas Mexican restaurant. It's got a lot of stuff that the owners have picked up over the years uh, in their travels. And in addition, the owners are on site most of the time. And if not, uh, part of their family is on site. And it's a very well-run restaurant, excellent food, wonderful drinks, and great atmosphere. And so that's a favorite of ours. We like that uh, casual Mexican thing. It, it reminds us of a place called the Edgewater Cafe when it was in Magnolia. Some of you may remember the Edgewater. And that's that's what uh, Cafe Noche, Noche reminds Kristen and I of. The next place I'd put on the list would be First Stop uh, Pizza and Subs. Literally the first stop, I think, geographically, um, because the first, the next gas, the next store down the road is actually in the town of Albany. I think just feet ahead of the business next to it, you have First Stop, and that's uh, directly across from that middle school and before the post office on the right, actually on West Main Street, and I don't have my address right there, but that's going to be somewhere around 30 West Main Street, something like that. So that, or, or 11, anyhow, I actually... Uh, started at the Remax office in the valley that was just next door to the first stop pizza. So I'm very familiar with their pizza. When I came up to the valley in 2003, that was where I, I landed in a Remax office that I was part of right there in Conway Village. Now I'm with Keller Williams Lakes and Mountains, had been with Badger Real Estate managing their commercial properties and selling residential real estate for about eight years. And uh, now I'm with Keller Williams. But 
the next one is kind of a funny one for a lot of people that are from where I'm from because they say seafood in North Conway, that's crazy. That's the opposite direction. But considering that most of the country is not on the waterfront, uh, plenty of people come to North Conway and they're excited about finding seafood. And Jonathan's Seafood does a great job of simulating, to me, that North Shore, Gloucester, Essex, Ipswich, seafood restaurant feel it's a sit-down seafood restaurant but they do have some takeout but uh that's a whole different story but the the food product the service very good at jonathan seafood and that's uh 280 east side road it, it's actually right on the corner of east side road and um white mountain highway route 16 as it goes up uh just past the state liquor store let's just say it's on the left if you're heading north towards North Conway. Jonathan Seafood, that's excellent. Um, not in the restaurant category, but in, in the category of anybody that's here and can cook and would grill food, perhaps. Just another mile up the road. I, I'm sorry, Vino's, I am sorry, but it is you know, what we will still refer to for now as the old Kentucky Fried Chicken up on the right is Vino's Butcher Shop and it's a prepared food type market. Um, boy, that's an excellent place to stop in your travels. I don't have the address there, but it's Vino's Market, White Mountain Highway. And that's as you are heading up over the hill from Conway and you're heading uh, Bowling Alley Hill. As you get to the top, you've gone just a little bit too far. If you see the scenic view, you've gone just a little too far. So that's the story there, Vino's uh, Butcher Shop and Specialty Foods, excellent. And I wanted to bring up a couple others before I wrap up this uh, video blog. Almost There Restaurant, just as you come into town, you might actually even be in Albany still at that point, but we're gonna call it Conway because it's right near the sign, I think. And Almost There is on your left, just after the gas station as you start to enter the Conway area, that gas stations technically in Albany but almost there is on your left um, the everybody raves the best cheeseburger slash hamburger that you can get in the valley and I've tried them all and I would put them very high on the ranking if not the best I would say that it I, I can't come up with exactly what would be the burger that beats it and I like almost there because it reminds me of a sorry about the microphone hit that's a new new thing for me, the microphone. It's supposed to make things a lot clearer, especially in this video log setting, but almost there. That's where you can go and get uh, drafts at a reasonable price. You can get um, food at a reasonable price. It's a very hometown feeling, uh, accommodating, old fashioned style pub. Now, at the other end of the spectrum, I would say for us, uh, you have the Derby Field Inn way off the beaten path visually but only a short drive up uh, bald hill road past the tin mountain conservationist center and it's probably i don't know maybe it's a two mile drive up that road maybe three to the darby field inn which is absolutely fine dining in an incredibly gorgeous setting in a classic old new england inn the Darby Field Inn is a great place. People have weddings there. They have functions up there. We've been up there for our office parties. And the Darby Field Inn should be something that you check out. Uh, and while we're kind of on that same track, another gem, first of all, gem of a town, Eaton, just east of Conway on Route 153. When you come into town in Conway and you get to that traffic light at the four corners, if you take the right onto 153, um, you head out that way and you actually come to Crystal Lake and you take a left at Crystal Lake and you go to this little part of Eaton, the town of Eaton, New Hampshire, called Snow Village. Snow Village has an inn and the Snow Village Inn and Max's Place uh, are a great place to go for, for anything from what you'd call a fancy dinner out to dinner and drinks out. And there's they have a locals night if you're up here midweek there's a great it's worth checking them out online um, and that's the snow village inn also in eaton is the uh i think it's the palmer house pub is what they actually call the pub downstairs but the inn at crystal lake is great a great dining experience just at the other end of crystal lake in the town of eaton 
So there are restaurants uh, that I've um, I've missed. Bee's Cafe, excellent breakfast place. Conway's, excellent breakfast place. But the uh, I got to pull this one in just because I I want to shout out to these folks because they're they're working hard and I just don't know them enough to say that that I know the business. But um, the Sweet Maple Cafe. So this is like almost direct diagonally across from the firehouse next to. Yazzie's Ice Cream in Conway Village and uh, it's been a restaurant of different types over the years and for a few years now the Sweet Maple Cafe has been operating and they have a wonderful looking menu and I just haven't been in and I think to myself Bill now there's a reason to get in there so I hope you appreciate this this was a you know Conway NH specific dining video blog that doesn't really roll off the tongue but this was specific to conway new hampshire new Han north conway bartlett and jackson get a ton of attention of their own the commercial district of north conway uh as you go over the hill and you burger king up to north conway village that's all surviving well on its own and uh conway village sorry microphone hitting again but conway village it's it's close to my heart it's the firehouse that I've served out of, and uh, the people that operate businesses there understand that it's not the mainstream tourism spot, and that's why they try to do things a bit different. And it's well worth stopping in Conway Village for any of your dining choices, pizza and subs, up to fine dining options. Uh, and uh, like I said, I kind of consider Eaton and... Um, even the edge of Albany is part of this south of North Conway, Conway area. Thanks for tuning in. It's Bill Barbin with Keller Williams Lakes and Mountains Real Estate. If I can help you or any of your friends, I would be honored. Thank you very much. Please tune in. Uh, this was a, a great first video blog entry. It's a long one, but it's also going to get turned into a blog, and then I'm going to post that elsewhere. Thanks for tuning in. And my number is 603-986-0385. Or you can reach me at bill at ilovenorthconway.com or check out my website, www.ilovenorthconway.com. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.